Ball gets played along up towards Atinui. In fact, uh, Lavery jumps and wins something on that. And now Kieran Lee will pick up the loose ball. Again, Lavery was tackled. But Wednesday keep it coming forward. They've worked it out towards the right-hand side now with Kieran Lee. He looks to try and get beyond the uh, defender. Here's his heel, got it back though. And Wednesday again with Vermeil looking to put the cross in, low in towards the back post. Coming in late there was Isgrove. Just tried to stick his toe on it, but it just went past him and away. I think the Wednesday under 18s, under 16s both had good results. Uh, at Sheffield United, I think the under 18s won 3 0, under 16s won 4 3. So congratulations to them. Impressive stuff. Ball just goes in towards the edge of the area and it comes back towards Lewis McGugan, lifted over the He's top. It's a chance for Lavery! First time hit, it bounced in front of him and he hit it on the half volley and it went over the top. Yeah, I think that's a great opportunity. You've got it at the target, it's set up nice, it's on the volley. Oh, really, we wanted to see the net bulging. That's what we wanted to see. Wednesday just trying to get hold of this one with Sam Hudson, who just nods it down there towards uh, Tom Lees. He works it out towards the right-hand side and it's now with Vermeil. The meal plays this one forward into the feet of uh, Lavery. Again, he just has that ability, though, doesn't he? Just to get into the space to, to make chances or have chances. All right, he missed it, but that's a, a good knack to have. Here's Isgrove looking to try and run at the fullback. He has got that pace that John mentioned, and he puts it into the middle. The defender oh, missed it. Lavery word. didn't quite anticipate that the defender was going to miss the ball. That's a superb little run from Isgrove and just showing what he is capable of. Wells for a second, I thought it might do off Vaughan. The keeper read the danger and Westwood has kicked it away straight through the middle. He's looking for uh, Lavery early. Mark Hudson got in the way, but Wednesday have got it back. It's now with Lavery back out towards Kieran Lee. Lee back inside now for Lewis McGugan. McGugan hits it! Oh! Just flashes past the post. He was on the stretch. The keeper, I don't think, got his glove to it. No. And it's just a goal kick, but that was a chance. But he was just getting away a little bit there from Lewis McGugan. But he had a strike and it wasn't too far away. He's going to run out of play again for a Huddersfield throw. They've taken it quickly it's in towards throw. Scannell. Foul throw was the call from uh, John, but not the referee or the linesman seeing that. And in the end, they get a corner after a challenge from uh, Cannell Society. Short routine if they want to, but uh, I suspect it'll be straight in the middle rather than uh, looking to knock it short for Butterfield. It goes straight into the middle and it's in the centre. It could go into the goal and it almost did. Off for Edgar, it was kicked off the line from Wednesday. And uh, that was a real scare. Yeah, Vermeil it was, who's uh, hooked it. He's defending the far post. And uh, he looks like a simple tapping, really. Again, it's Nui who's trying to target. There was two players around him, but Nui, to be fair, won the ball. Tried to steer the header into the path of Isgrove. He's a battler, isn't he? Just won it back, and now Kieran Lee will work it on. Nui through, that's a Nui! Oh! Well, what I think happened there is it hit one foot, then the other. I don't think he meant to do that. And it almost trickled over the line, but the defender managed to hook it away in the nick of time. It looked oh. for all the world like he'd scored. I thought that had gone in. How did he get by that defender? He's going backwards. He plays it in towards uh, the number eight, which Not is Butterfield. Ball, actually. Steers it forward, and it's going to stay in play. Handball is what you're suggesting, which would yeah. be a penalty. He did it, his hand. Tom Lees was in the area. And the referee hasn't decided that was a penalty kick, so obviously he didn't think it was handball or accidental. You've seen is him the given. Reason. Yeah. You have seen him given them. It hit his hand, but that's, I think that's the that's the point. It hit his hand. Ball deflects through and almost ran into a dangerous position. Sam Hudson made the interception. It's gone back towards Butterfield. Butterfield sends it into the middle, headed away by Zayeti. First time header. Controlled by uh, Cody, and Wednesday should get away here. And it's New Year, a little back flick into the path of Lewis McGugan, right hand side. It's a high hanging cross in towards that. Lavery. He'll control oh, it. He has. He's done brilliant. He's done brilliantly bringing it out of the sky. It's still with Lavery looking to make an angle. Lavery oh! tries to go alone. He's off balance though when he strikes it, and he ends up <laughs> nearly hitting the corner flag. Oh dear me. He brought that down superbly. McGugan spotted him. Now that New Year's not on. It's taken by Lewis McGugan in towards the middle of the goal. It's up in there, hanging around. Well, when's they get anything? No, it came from Huddersfield player last, and it's taken in the air by Alex Smithies, who bowls it towards the halfway line, and it's with Miller. I said that he gives them something to aim for, and now he's looking to take on uh, Vermeil. He's the last man back there. 
Oh. Supported oh. by Hutchinson, it's still with Miller. Tries to round the keeper, but there is Sam Hutchinson. Down goes Miller, looking for a penalty, but he is looking for it. And Wensley will break. It's a chance now for Stevie May. Left-hand side, May looks to take on the defender. Skips past him, but he's run into trouble. There was uh, Lynch across just to cover up. He puts it away for a throw for <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday. And Miller's still appealing. Fair play, he's... Uh... Nobody's looking, he's, in, he's still in half play, he's just come out of the penalty area now. Blocked off by the Huddersfield player, Butterfield, taken quickly by McGugan to Maguire. Lobs it into the middle, it's nodded away. It's going to come back towards the Terriers player to just make the clearance towards the halfway line, but Wednesday back on it again with Hutchinson in towards Maguire, pushes it forward. Now a chance for Lewis McGugan. Out wide now for Vermeil. Vermeil with a step over in the box, he'll try and put it low into the area. It might cross the line, will it go in the net? Yes! Yes! Eventually, persistence paying off for Wednesday. And it's Sergio Bucinic who puts it into the net at the second time of asking a scrappy goal. It must be said, the goalkeeper sat in the back of his goal net. He can't quite believe it's gone into his uh, net, it has to be said. But Wednesday won't care a jot about that. And Sergio Bucinic scores <laughs> the opening goal. It's 1 0 to the Owls against Huddersfield. Hey! Free kick awarded against Stevie May, he doesn't quite know what for, but Hudson was the one who benefited from it. Sent forward by Tommy Smith, up in the air, looking for the header from a Wednesday defender. It oh. doesn't come in, and it's come back to Miller! And it's 1-1, it deflected into his path. We said he's been a threat since he came on. He had loads of space, and no sooner did Wednesday get ahead, and all of a sudden, Huddersfield fans have a reason to uh, be heard, really. They've been quiet all game. And there is Miller, wrong footing westward. It's one apiece here at Hillsborough. Wednesday will get it back, though. Tom Lees. Lees plays it on, but that's straight to Huddersfield. And they'll get it through towards Cody. Cody knocks it up towards two the halfway two. line. Flicked on into the path of Miller. Off Vaughan. Vaughan's looking to run into space as well. Lees needs to be aware of where he's gone. It's crossed into the middle. It's too strong there from Miller. And Wednesday will go forward now on the left-hand side. Here is Joe Matic taking the ball. Off Tom Lees, coming up towards the halfway line. Fired forward by Matic, looking to play it through the middle for Bush. Bush tries to turn, but the goalkeeper's out, and he'll take the ball. And I think it's going to be a 1-1 score. That's how it's going to finish here. There's probably about a minute left. There's about a minute, John reckons, to uh, change that outcome. If that. Alex Smithies kicks it long. Up in the air, looking for Joe Matic. There Not even that, the full-time whistle has blown. Wednesday shame. thought they'd won this with Sergio Bush, but ultimately that wasn't the case. They conceded a few minutes later with the substitute Ishmael Miller.